2010, the percentage of highly automatable jobs in the U.S. was only 17%. A study by the McKinsey Global Institute states that by 2022, this percentage has increased to 46%, and this is due to the emergence of humanoid robots that can do almost anything. Imagine a robot that can walk, talk, carry on simple conversations, and make realistic facial expressions in response to your questions. Now, Japan has just released another mouth-opening version of robot that is set to change absolutely everything. Join us as we look at the capabilities of artificial intelligence and advanced humanoid robots and the impact they would have on the world. Chloe. The first RT600 Android, named Chloe, was reportedly created in 2021 by Elijah Kamsky. She is the first personal assistant developed by CyberLife, and her job is to assist people with daily duties like scheduling appointments and cleaning the house. She passed the Turing test, making her the first Android. Chloe secured CyberLife's victory in 2022 by openly completing in-person exams. Chloe recorded an interview with KNC in 2024. These days, she and a few other Chloe's keep Elijah Kamsky company at his remote Detroit home. Robonaut 2. To create a robotic helper that can operate alongside humans, whether astronauts in space or employees at industrial facilities on Earth, NASA and General Motors collaborated to build Robonaut 2, or R2. In 2011, the first humanoid robot was sent into space for the first time. The R2 mobility platform was expanded in 2014 with two extra legs for maneuvering inside the International Space Station, and deployed initially as a torso-only humanoid confined to a stanchion. In the future, a humanoid robot in space could help or cover astronauts on spacewalks or for jobs that are too risky or complex for people. More recent improvements to the original upper-body humanoid robot include the inclusion of two climbing manipulators or legs, more sensors, and more powerful CPUs. Robonaut 2 is kept waiting inside the electromagnetic interference chamber at Johnson Space Center. After testing is conducted to make sure the robot's electronic equipment won't interfere with other critical International Space Station systems, R2 will travel aboard Discovery to the space station for the STS-133 mission. Pepper SoftBank Robotics developed Pepper, a semi-humanoid robot that can perceive emotions. It was initially presented at a convention in 2014, and soon after, SoftBank mobile phone retailers in Japan featured it. The robot is 120 cm tall, has 15 languages, and senses its surroundings. Pepper has worked actively in various settings, including residences, stores, offices, schools, and senior living facilities. It is intended to constantly change in response to the requirements of use cases and their environment. Currently employed as a receptionist in multiple UK-UK offices, Pepper may utilize face recognition technology to recognize guests, notify meeting organizers of impending events, and schedule drink orders. Pepper can have autonomous conversations with potential customers. Using Seikatsu Kakume's apps, the robot has also been utilized in Japanese banks and healthcare facilities. In addition, it is used in every Hamazushi restaurant location in Japan. That's not all. Jia Jia. The first humanoid robot made in the People's Republic of China, Jia, can carry on an introductory conversation and, upon request, make particular facial expressions. The robot can respond to human speech, move her arms, and display a variety of facial emotions. A research team from the University of Science and Technology of China in Hefei spent three years developing the robot. Jia Jia's ability to roam her eyes freely across the room and her nearly perfect lip synchronization with her speech set her apart. The University of Science and Technology of China laboratories are the starting point for Jia Jia's story. An ambitious study with a specific objective was started in the early 2000s by a group of researchers under the direction of Professor Chen Xiaoping to create a humanoid robot that can walk, speak, engage in simple conversation, and exhibit basic emotions to push the limits of artificial intelligence and robotics. Phoenix Phoenix is the first general-purpose humanoid robot in history, powered by carbon, Sanctuary AI's AI's groundbreaking AI AI control technology. The humanoid robot is the only all-purpose robot listed in Time's Best Inventions 2023 and is made for work. The control mechanism of Carbon AI AI emulates many brain subsystems, including sight, sound, touch, memory, and hearing. There will be potential for Phoenix general-purpose robots to perform nearly any human work. 
Phoenix all-purpose robots are made to work alongside humans. They can be controlled directly by humans with the help of a pilot or under supervision utilizing the AI AI control system included within the robot to monitor, evaluate, and perform tasks. Phoenix's current phase is among the most advanced human behavioral data collection devices on the market, giving Carbon access to some of the best training data with the highest fidelity and quality. Stay tuned, the video is just getting interesting. Ameca. One of the most sophisticated human-shaped robots in the world, Ameca seeks to lead the way in human robotics technology. Ultimately, it is intended to serve as a platform for creating AI. Now that OpenAI's GPT-3 has been integrated, Ameca can have natural discussions with people. The robot uses facial recognition software, binocular eye-mounted cameras, embedded microphones, and a chest camera to communicate with the public. Its interactions are controlled via telepresence of humans or GPT-3. Moreover, it has articulating motorized fingers, limbs, neck, and face features. At the Engineered Arts headquarters in Falmouth, Cornwall, UK, the first generation of Ameca was developed. The first video was made available to the public on December 1st, 2021, but the project began in February 2021. Before its first public presentation at CES 2022, where CNET and other news outlets reported it, Ameca garnered much attention on Twitter and TikTok. Ameca broadcast a Channel 4 alternative Christmas message on Christmas Day in 2022. Ameca is currently a member of the robotic family at the Museum of the Future, where it can communicate with guests. THR3 Toyota's partner. Robot business created and developed THR3 based on the company's robotics platform. It makes it possible to investigate new technologies to control the safe physical interaction between robots and their environment, and to manage a new remote maneuvering system that allows the robot to mimic its operator's movement commands. The robot can offer secure support in a variety of settings. With wearable controls that translate hand, arm, and foot movements to the robot, the complete body of the robot may be moved automatically thanks to a master maneuvering system. THR3 reflects Toyota's extensive research into how cutting-edge technologies may support individuals' specific mobility demands. The THR3 represents a step forward from earlier generations of instrument-playing humanoid robots, which were developed to test the exact alignment of joints and pre-programmed movements, to a platform with capabilities that can safely support people in a range of contexts, including the home, hospitals, construction sites, disaster-affected areas, and even space. Atlas, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, provided funds and management for Boston Dynamics, an American robotics company, to build Atlas, a bipedal humanoid robot. The robot was first shown to the public in July 2013 and was initially intended for various search and rescue duties. The robot's cutting-edge hardware and sophisticated control system allow it to exhibit exceptional athleticism and agility. Using Atlas's entire body to move quickly and deftly, the business hopes to investigate the possibilities of the humanoid shape. Atlas was designed to help search and rescue teams by closing valves, opening doors, and using powered equipment in dangerous conditions where people could not live. 2013 the Department of Defense declared its disinterest in utilizing robots for offensive or defensive operations. Atlas was taken out of service in April 2024. The next day, news of a completely electric version was released. The new fully electric Atlas is designed to be a commercial solution for industry environments. Digit. A humanoid robot called Digit is made to move more dynamically than other robots. It can navigate challenging environments because it has two legs and several sensors. Its dimensions and form make it ideal for human-centered structures and logistics operations. Recently, Agility Robotics and Amazon teamed up to test human-like robot solutions for repetitive jobs and teamwork at Amazon's Robotics Research and Development Facility. Amazon will use Digit to assist staff members with tote recycling, which is the laborious task of collecting and transporting empty totes once all of the goods have been removed from them. Sophia. Sophia is well-known worldwide appearing on daytime TV shows in numerous nations and at international conferences. She is the first robot citizen in history and the first robot innovation ambassador for the UNDP. The Hong Kong-based company Hansen Robotics created Sophia, a social humanoid robot. In mid-March 2016, Sophia made her debut in public at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, after being activated on February 14, 2016. Sophia is a foundation for advanced robotics and artificial intelligence research, 
focusing on comprehending human-robot interactions and their potential utility in entertainment and services. She has, for instance, been utilized in research for the Loving AI project, which aims to comprehend how intra- and interpersonal development might enable robots to adapt to humans' requirements. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in our next video.